Hello and welcome to the ECDL Module 8 Improving Productivity Using IT Demo Lecture. My name is Annie McCall and through this video I'm going to be taking you through the content of the module, also explaining the criteria in terms of taking the module and also looking at the assessment and preparing for your test as well. Before we go into the content of the module, just want to make a few things very, very clear because it's really important that you are understanding the criteria of attempting your improving productivity using IT module. What you must do before you start this module is, is complete your word processing, spreadsheets and presentations module. You must pass these before you actually have access to the improving productivity using IT test. So if you're at a point where you have not uh, pass say for instance just your word or any if you, any any of the modules ensure that you go back um, cover the modules contents um, attempt the test fingers crossed pass and then once you've completed and passed all three you'll have access to your improving productivity using IT module and your test as well so the improving productivity using IT module aims and objectives are to allow you to have the knowledge necessary so that you can plan, evaluate and improve the procedures that are involved when using IT and systems. And that particularly is relevant when you're in the workplace and also can be um, adapted in your university um, usage with IT when you're doing your assignments, group work or any sort of activity during your time when studying with us. But after completing this module, you should be able to select IT tools and techniques to complete a given task, so you know the correct IT tool software or hardware, and the techniques um, that um, are required to complete an expected task. You will also understand the expectations and requirements that must be met by the task solution. So you're given a criteria of what is um, requ uh, required, um, what the um, resulting expectation would be and how you're going to hit that by meeting that solution. You're going to understand what is required by the task and the best ways to achieve it. So there could be different techniques and, and um, of ways around it using the IT tools and systems. You're going to also, once everything's been completed, you're going to evaluate the outcome of the task, but you're going to also assess whether there's any strengths and any weaknesses of the, the solution that you use to get to your endpoint. And then once that's been done, you can identify improvements relevant to future work. So that's going by experience of using something. And the next time you have a task of a similar nature, you can implement what you've learned from the previous um, work that you've done so that it's done better in future um, tasks or assignments or work that you need to do. And then finally, you're going to consider and apply any of these techniques in the future of when learning and how to use the specific software applications. So this is coming back to the uh, pre um, previous um, bullet, but it's also adapting what you've learned into the specific software. So you, there may be a different way around a software that you use for a task that may get a task done a lot quicker as well. It's really important, though, to go and explain the test that you're going to be taking. Now, even though we're going to be doing the learning, it's the, the, once you have an awareness of what you're going into, it gives you a bit more of a clearer picture of what to expect. So the improving productivity using IT test actually consists of two parts this time. So the previous modules you had uh, for your Word, Excel and your PowerPoint, you had a set of questions um, relevant to the application. This time what you'll be given is you'll be given a scenario and you'll use one, only one of the applications, so it'll either be Word, Excel or PowerPoint to create a Word document, it could be a spreadsheet or a PowerPoint presentation according to the scenario instructions that you're given. It's really important to make it clear just now that you will not use all three applications, you will use only one of the three and each person will have it randomly chosen for them. There's no um, system that will point or we can decide. The system randomly chooses which one you'll get. So once you first open up your test, you'll be aware of what you get by this description that they're explaining there. So once you open up your um, iPad diagnostic and your test as well, the first part you're going to see is the performance part of the test and the first question will present you with the scenario so that's the instructions of what your um, task in the test is going to be um, and it's up to you at the start point to choose what is the most suitable application for the job so if it's explaining it's describing that you need to create for instance a letter that's going out to a lot of applicants you would highly likely choose um, correct choose word if it was to um, create a um, a 
table of facts and uh, sorry figures and calculations and some charts etc that show the um, information a bit more clearer in graphical essence you would use excel or if it's um um um, information that's be, to be presented to a large audience um, in a simplified way you'll be looking at PowerPoint as well so if you look on the right hand side it's just an example of what you're going to be seeing so the performance section is will also look like the previous module test questions and the way they look and the layout but within a question well, you'll have more questions so for example in your word test uh, you may have had a question um, that said select text bold uh, and make it bold sorry what you'd do there is you'd you'd, uh, you'd complete the the, um, the the requirements of the question. You'd you'd set it out. You'd select your text, make it bold, press answer, move on. In your iPad though, there will be a question, but there will be more questions in the question. So you'll see here. This could be, for example, question three or four in your iPad test, and it'll also have um, change the width to the table 5.5 centimeters. So you do that, then you do make the text um, in the first row of the table bold and fill the background of all the cells to a color of your choice. That'll be the next part of the question you do. Then you'd also delete any records where there's been the occurrence of surname Henderson. That bit as well would also get done, and then you can complete the question and move on. But once you have a go at your diagnostic, you'll see very clearly what we're explaining here as well, because the diagnostic will show in these questions in the same format as what you're going to see but also just coming what I previously said on the other slide before was that if you were um, using um, a if, if your test was word um, you would only be using your word um, application same with Excel or PowerPoint but just be aware that there may be a odd question that might ask you to use another application to complete it so if it's asking you to um, cut a chart from a Excel file and bring it into PowerPoint or for instance if um, taking um, data from Excel and um, and pasting it into a Word document just be aware that you may be asked to do that as well so there is no harm in you using those applications um, in your um, test as well but just be keenly aware is that the assignments purpose um, for what the application is needing so if it's a, a letter you're predominantly going to be using word but if it's needing um, you to use another application to bring something in then by all means you're allowed to use that as well so that's the first part of the test then you'll once you've completed all those questions you'll have the second part of the test which is the not um, the knowledge section and that is consisting of 12 multiple choice questions and you must get a minimum of 9 out of 12 to pass this section. What you'll see though in the questions is that they will relate to the application that you've used in the performance part of the test. So it may ask you for instance what did you use in Word to complete the tasks, um, it's that sort of nature. But it'll also ask you um, about uh, questions relating to specifically improving productivity. Um, so just be aware that you'll have some of those key points but very important to, do, uh, to be, um, understand that when your diagnostic as well as your practice papers which you can explain and your sample tests you'll have ex um, examples there that you can go over and practice so you're confident going into your test that you know what's happening as well so as I stated um, before you've got two sections you've got the performance section and you've got the knowledge section as well